Time to make some more coffee. Welcome to the vlog, guys. It's the first vlog I've done in a long time, and I thought 2019 and the video I was gonna release today did not work out. Season four of the Wilderness Living Challenge. Bear meat and bear fat with some adobo. That's so good. I had some hiccups in all my upgrades. I kind of decided to upgrade everything at once, which in hindsight wasn't a smart thing. Upgrading all the computers and the hard drives. And so I lost some of the stuff I already edited. Hey Google, turn on the uh, kitchen lights. It looks like that device hasn't been set up yet. See what I mean? Some hiccups in the upgrades. Let's make some coffee, and I'll tell you all about 2019, what to expect. Hey Google, turn on the shooting range light. Sure, turning three lights on. Hey Google, turn on target reset. Okay, turning the target reset on. Hey Google, set timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. Starting three, now. Two, one. Get that last one to stay down. Keeps popping back up. <laughs> Ew, little stinker. Oh, come on. <laughs> Yes, it finally stayed down. My goodness. Hey Google, turn on target reset. Okay, turning the target reset on. Hey Google, turn off the shooting range lights. Sure, turning three lights off. Whew, day got dark out there quick. It's starting to snow. Hey Google, turn on the studio lights. You got it, turning on the <laughs> studio lights. I had too much fun with all that. As you can see, my first upgrade for the year, coffee. Got rid of all the Folgers, got a new sponsor for the channel, Blackout Coffee, and oh, it is so good. I've been looking for a coffee sponsor for a while. Some companies are just too silly. I don't trust their media campaigns, they're rude. They're, uh, or they're too vulgar, and these guys are like a family company, really delicious coffee. I suggest you go on, try out their different flavors. You can get the multi-pack and try out the different flavors, and then decide what your favorite one is. I'm leaning towards, uh, I'm not sure yet. I'll let you know when I decide which one. Let me know what you think if you try out their different flavors. Which one should be the official coffee of uh, Fowler's Makery Mischief here? They also have a subscription service that allows you to subscribe, save, and never run out of coffee again. Hard to beat. Oh, I'm just loving them all. So, I got something to unbox for you, but these are some, this is some really neat things. Wait, there's more. Got another package from an Andrew Bedell's, Bedell's something. I got a package from England. I think this is the one from Gamekeeper John, his new slingshot. This is, all right, well, let's do it then. I guess I got some help. That's not a knife. <laughs> this is a knife. You think that's a knife? <laughs> Check out that one. That's not even a knife at all. That's a sword. You know what they say about uh, 
Guys, I buy big knives. I don't think that's appropriate. We're not going there. I'm just gonna open my package. All right, Vision Quest Outdoors. This, that's not a knife. Or, well, that definitely isn't a knife. This, that is cool, is a knife. Flint knife, beautiful green flint. Holy cow. This is amazing. What beautiful craftsmanship. I'll put a link below for his uh, content where you can find him. Jay Valentine, Vision Quest Outdoors. This will have a very special place on my shelf of very special stuff and get used for sure, definitely. Thank you so much. I can't wait to get this out and play with that. What do you got? You even came in a little, nice little bin. Got some, uh, oh, these are cool. They're slug holders, so I can shoot a smaller slug with the 50 caliber air rifle. That'll be fun. It turns them from 50 cals to 44s. Might be better for small game stuff. Andrew Badell. Cool. Oh, wow. That's cool. It's, it's a 3D printed. Holy cow, it's got some serious draw. Wow. Oh. 3D printed slingshot. And there's two of them, so Chris and I can play with them. I think we'll have to shoot that in another video, though. What do you got? Wow. Oh. That's nice. That is special. That. I can't wait to shoot this. This may be the best slingshot ever made. I'm not sure. Here, you want something a little more useful? Thanks. Actually does a really good job. There you go. Thanks. Wow, that's nice. That feels really good. It's so nice. That's that's gonna be a treat to shoot. Oh, can't wait. Well. We're gonna shoot that another day though. I'm gonna have to do a competition between that and the new Simple Shot Hammer XT. Those things are crazy looking. I love the hammer. Whenever I'm having a hard day with my slingshot and I'm not able to focus, that's like my uh, my soothing moments, you know, is to go and shoot the slingshot and just to rest in my mind from all that I'm trying to do back here, putting out videos and, and, uh, and getting ready for new events or things that I'm doing, taking photos of stuff that needs to go onto the website. Well, that and my Bible time, of course, and time with the Lord. But uh, that's what I, you know, helps me zero. Now that we've unwrapped all that, I'll show you what I've been up to with the rest of my upgrades. That's nice, I'm going, I don't care what you guys are doing, I'm going to shoot this. Hey, don't shoot it without me, come on! All right, I'm gonna put these down with the slingshot range. Whatever. Anyways, after filming the 30 day survival challenge last year through all of November, I had to come home and spend three months editing, sitting up to my old desk right there, which I've turned into now a charging station and a camera maintenance area. And I was just, I, I just oh, I don't like sitting around that much. And getting up and working out and shooting a slingshot for a little bit is cool, but it's not, it's not enough. So. I came up with a solution. I found this standing desk online. This thing is awesome. So now I got a workout bike. I could sit here, do my edits, and hopefully reduce the amount of weight I put on during in between challenges because I'm able to pedal and work out a bit. And then if I get tired of pedaling, pull that thing out and I can send it down to, it's digital. How cool is this? I could bring it down to a standing height. Oops. That's the sitting height, apparently. There's a, even a lower sitting height. So, say I do hurt myself someday, break my leg, I can go back to sitting the way I used to sit. This is the coolest desk ever. People just don't realize how much work goes into all this. And that's why I've upgraded all of this, because I actually spent so much, I spent three times the amount of time here at home working on the edits than I did the one month out there having the adventure. It was actually easier to be out there surviving than be home, stuck in here, 
trying to edit all this. This thing's so cool. But the whole point of all this is it gives me the ability to do a better job and better videos. I upgraded my storage. I've upgraded my camera now to the EOS R, which is like the new mirrorless camera. It's a lot better than the 80D, which I've been filming on for two years. I still really like this camera, but I want something that looks awesome on TV. More and more people are watching YouTube on TV, so I wanted to bring you guys a high quality thing. Something that when the people from Netflix come across it, they're like, ooh, we want to work with it, have him give him his own Netflix show or something, right? So I think you guys are really going to like this year with the new season two in the works for the 30 Day Survival Challenge, going out with my fellow Alone alumni, Greg Ovens, up into the uh, Canadian Rockies we're looking at doing. It's going to be so much fun. That'll be like June, July filming that and it should start airing in August. And I got something else for you guys. We've already begun the work on this year. Something else that nobody has ever done. A bushcraft, uh, like, a, like a late night show. And it is going to be out here in the barn. You couldn't have picked a worse spot. <sighs> that is like in the worst spot ever, right up there with the little branches. feet away can't tell how good it's hooked and that doesn't look strong enough just up there to climb up and reach out there I don't know if I was younger if I was younger I'd climb right up there and nab her and be back down two seconds but man I'm feeling my age already being up here 35 40 feet I need to get up just a little further though. Ah! <laughs> One piece at a time, huh? That stinks. I didn't know those popped off of there. Not bad, I got it. Whew, my legs are shaking. I gotta get back down in one piece. It looks like I only broke one prop as far as I could tell. We'll see, she may fly again today so I can finish my shot. Well, I thought for a second there that I was gonna be upgrading the drone. I do wanna upgrade the drone at some point, but that wasn't on my list of things to do this month. So, the Bushcraft Studio is gonna go over here. Still a bit of mess out here. When I first got this place, it was ceiling to floor with junk. It used to be an old antique place. So all the antiques that nobody wanted and or the uh, former owner's stuff that he had that he didn't want, instead of throwing it away, it all collected here. We busted out the window, threw it all in the garbage. So over here is gonna go like a bushcraft desk all made out of sticks. Chairs made out of sticks. On the walls up there will be like the reed boat. This half floor that goes in here where the hay used to go and stuff um, is gonna come out of here so it'll be all open. I'll be able to have this wide open. We'll insulate it and uh, have like a little aerial shooting range for slingshot stuff. And over here there's this crazy, crazy hole that goes down through where they'd be able to throw the hay up. And that's my office right there. That wall is my office. So I'm gonna make a door that comes from my office with a little swinging bridge that comes across here. And I'll be able to come into the room. We'll have uh, maybe like a fire pit here with a, a hood 
and uh, for the and chimney and stuff for the smoke. So when we have guests on from you know alone or naked and afraid, other contestants that have been on other things or YouTubers, they'll come up and they'll be able to sit um, next to my bushcraft uh, like Letterman desk, and I'll sit there and interview them. We'll have some hammers all along the wall over there with some anvils and some stumps to test out product. We'll do some unboxing, test product out, see how well they'll last. And then maybe we'll do like, go over to the fire pit here with our guests and we'll do some sort of a fire challenge, you know, one-handed fire starting, uh, who can get at the bow drill to start a fire quickest, you know, have some fun stuff like that. So if you have any good ideas for or a segment for the show, leave it in the comments below. I'd love more ideas. I've got a ton of them already and you'll see those when it comes up. And one special one I'm thinking of would be like featured bushcrafter of the week, you know, where we could put on somebody, maybe they only got 20 views, but they went out there, they put their effort in and filmed something really unique and uh, nobody noticed it, but we noticed it and we can share it with you guys. So that's just a little bit of what I got in mind for the year. I also want to bring back the uh, McFowler for a new episode where I turn into MacGyver there. If you haven't seen that one yet, look at my old videos. In fact, if you've just gotten done with the 30 day survival challenge and you're like, oh, bumming that there's no more of them. Well, you can always go watch my old videos. I suggest watching the popular uploads videos, but like watch them backwards till they start to stink. And you're like, Ugh, you know, and that way you can watch the best stuff right there in the uh, off the homepage. And, uh, but that else has got going on. Got some trick shot Tuesdays coming for you. I'm working on putting together a slingshot versus pocket shot video and uh, all kinds of other exciting adventures. I'm really looking forward to launching season one of the the um, Fowler late night show or whatever we'll be doing, hopefully by uh, running through Christmas time at the end of the year. So the late fall kind of thing once that's all squared away. And uh, I think if there's anything else, we've been putting up new stuff on the website, new swag, and all kinds of cool survival gear. Oh, yeah, and Ron from Atlas Shelters, Survival Shelters, they are doing a 30-day survival bunker challenge, bunker survival challenge. If you would like for you and your family to spend 30 days in a bunker on a challenge sponsored by Atlas Survival Shelters and Emergency Essentials, you can find the link down below to their channel and the story about that. What would you think? Do you think I could do a bunker survival challenge and make it interesting enough? I don't know that I'd want to watch me for 30 days trapped in a bunker, much less uh, subject you guys to it. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in Friday for the first of the Wilderness Living Challenge videos of me up in Canada with the Wooded Beardsman having adventures, trying not to lose weight while we live wild for seven days. Fowler out.